Hi Buns, today we're going to talk about the sexiest primals in Final Fantasy XIV. This video is not suited for children and it's also not for my parents, so mom, you can just skip right on by this one. <laughs> See you later. Before you ask me, where's Suzaku? Where's Byako? They're not going to be on this list because four lords are not primals, okay? Just want to get that out of the way. They're disqualified. Number five, Sophia. Now, Sophia is obviously a very sexy primal. She has one of the most revealing outfits in the game with lots of underboob. She's also skilled at playing with balls, as we see throughout the fight. She also says things like, sin must be balanced with suffering, which is another way of saying, with a little pleasure must come a little pain, and that's very sexy. However, the problem with Sophia that ranks her so low is that her daughter is always around. Her daughter's <laughs> giant disembodied head is always watching and that is not a sexy situation at all so that puts her way down at number five on this list Garuda's probably the first sexy primal that you meet in the game memorable for the boobs popping out the top of her feather it's not a shirt those are her feathers is she naked actually that's a question that just occurred to me. I think that her thong is armor. It definitely looks like armor. And the butt on Garuda, I've actually covered her butt in a previous video. I think the first, the butts of Eorzea video, I talked about it. <laughs> her butt's been covered on the channel. I've covered her butt more than she did. She also does like a little kissy move when she's fighting you and that's very sexy. However, what loses Garuda points is the fact that she is very loud and she's screaming <laughs> most unsexily. She's also constantly passing wind. Number three, Shiva. Now, Shiva gets extra points for being the minor heaven's word spoiler alert, the transformation of Iceheart. And Iceheart is a wonderful lady and she's very cute and sweet. And so, like, the emotional bond that you have with Iceheart slash Shiva definitely adds to her appeal. Her outfit, of course, is very elegant. It, it's sexy, but it's also classy in sort of an ice skater way. There's big old thigh windows that I think I've actually covered in a previous Butts of Eorzea video. But the thing with Shiva is that she is taken, okay? Like she has a boyfriend and he will eat you. <laughs> like he's a dragon. Um, and so, She's used to doing it with a dragon, right? Unless you're a big hunky ah ra, you might have some trouble getting things going with her. In other words, you might have a hard time breaking the ice. <laughs> Number two, Lakshmi. Lakshmi has a very romantic arena. There's rose petals falling from the sky, and at one point during her encounter, you actually do become seduced, and she invites you to rest in her impossibly large bosom. And while that's all earned her many, many points, the unsexy thing is the fact that she's using black magic fuckery to win your affections. And that's cheap, honestly. Winning her points back, however, is the strong possibility that she's got a big monster tail under there. So just imagine getting coiled around, totally and completely at her mercy. Maybe she'll cuddle, maybe she'll asphyxiate you. Not for the faint of heart, but it could be time well serpent. Number one, Zervan. This probably isn't a surprise to those of you who've been watching my channel for a while, because I actually already did a thirst video for Zervin. And it says here that his desire has been swelling in magnitude with each passing millennium. And I don't need to tell you why an extra mouth down there is sexy. Not to mention four hands. It was hard to explain to Zervan that I just don't feel the same way anymore. There's a new primal on the block who is actually my personal number one. Yeah, bonus number one. Bonus because identifying him as a primal is a bit of a Shadowbringer spoiler. And he's not for everyone. My personal number one, of course, the one true god, Zodiark. So why would I consider Zodiark the most sexy primal when we've never even seen him manifest as anything besides a big crystal massage wand? Well, we've seen statues of him, but it's really not important. What Zodiark represents is the sexiest thing there is. Power, the forbidden fruit, temptation, lust, and pleasure are things normally associated with demons and evil entities. And Zodiark is the king of them all. 
One of his gifts is the ability to tie you up using just shadows, so you don't have to worry about rope burn. We do get some depictions of Zodiac from the Encyclopedia Eorzea. Going back to what I said about Lakshmi and the tail, he's got a very long tail. I mean, here's the size of a human, and you can see that tail curling all the way down that giant statue. So, like, he can use that, and he's muscular, toned, and, of course, a demon. So, I mean, this he's got a lot of things going for him. From the side, it's almost like he could hold you in his little cup you in his hands and give you a little kiss on the forehead. Give you a little kissy kiss. <laughs> Would you have arranged the primals on this list differently? Are you upset that I did not include Tsukiyomi? Well, I'll tell you why I didn't. <laughs> it's because I think that she was sexier before she changed into a primal. As a primal, she's very elegant. She's beautiful, but she's going through a lot at that time. Okay, she's, she's resolving a lot of past trauma and it's just... It's sad. It's not arousing <laughs> in that way. I know some people wanted me to put the Hamet on this list. There's no way that I'm going to do that. <laughs> no. Let me know what your top five primals would have been. You would have arranged this list differently. And what do you think of my personal number one? I want to thank my Discord for inspiring and encouraging me to actually make this video. Even if it was just kind of an excuse for me to talk about Zodiac <laughs> at the end. Anyway, thanks again so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.